Welcome to Extra Scale Modeling. This is part 4 of the Scania RS20 top line build for my truck and trailer project. This part is mainly putting the outside panels of the carboy. So all the exterior parts of the tractor unit will be going on in this, this uh, part 4. So let's jump into it. So to begin with, it, I'm putting in the um, top window. So I'm using um, canopy glue here, which is uh, the Formula 560 canopy glue. And next part to go on with the um, the skirt that goes around the top, uh, the the covering there. Uh, a little bit tricky to go on. Um, the uh, contact here is very thin, and the the, the parts quite flimsy and springs up. So I um, glued it um, in, in sections, so the front section, then a side and so on to get on. That seemed to work fine. Moving on to the side panel doors now. And uh, I'm just putting in the inner fabrications at the door. And once they're on, I'm just giving it a, coat, uh, a thin silver. So that the uh, green still comes through, but it gives it a sort of metallic -y look. I was going to do it all grey, but I, I like the sort of silvery metallic look inside the cab. A little bit of trimming up needing to be done here. Um, tiny bits of flash going on. Um, I think, actually, that was only the main bit of flash I had. Going to be painting the outside door handles all in Tamiya's metallic grey, which is FX56. Now, as you can see there, I was having difficulty getting it open. So I've got this got this little jig tool thing from Tamiya and it's a squeezy plastic cup with the rigid spanner thing and what you do is just put your paint in the cup so you, that gives you a good grip and put your spanner thing on and the paint lid comes off very easily. Onto the windscreen wipers. The metal parts for the windscreen wipers I'm painting in Tamiya's Gunmetal X10 and for the blade I'm using Aquacolor 06 tar black. Uh, just very, very small things um, to paint, but um, the way it's laid out, it's easy enough to paint. There, there's not good enough to find lines to run your brush over, so don't worry about making any mistakes there. I'm moving on to the front, first of the front grills. This is painted in Tamiya's XS71 cockpit green to give the contrast of, of the green. Now, um, a lot of people say paint this black or sort of metallic dark grey or whatever but because I'm doing the cab green I, I wanted a different contrast a green and then the inner part of the grill the mesh part that's going to get painted in uh, Tamiya's metallic grey FX XF 56 and just popping the handles in um, a nice tight fit now when you build any of these trucks, um, this, particularly this one, make sure you put the windscreen wipers in first or it'll be very difficult to put them in uh, once the grill's on. You, you can do it, but it's just easier doing it now, waiting for it to dry, then putting on the front grill. And then it's the front grill going on. The, the glass is not in yet, in case you were wondering, that goes in a bit, little bit later on. And while the bond's curing, just uh, one or two little touch-ups. And now the side panels are dry, it's time to put in the, the glass. So again, it's um, using the canopy glue, the Formula 560, just a bead of glue around the edges, then the, just drop the window in. Just clean off any excess with a bit of tissue. And once the glass is in, um, I did actually forget to do this before I put the glass in, so I'm just putting in the door handles for, for the inside. So um, now the tops dry it's time to put in the um, the inner cab's roof ones and that just uh, goes in at a slight angle to push in and then you can just glue it up and once that's in just slide in the back there's a nice enough gap there that this part just slides in so only a little bit of glue needed now I was going to paint um, a band around this uh, on with the Tamiya XF71 <coughs> Um, which I did obviously paint it there, but in the end I changed my mind, but I'll get around to that in a minute. 
So it's time to put the panels together. There is little slots that you can just notch these into. Now uh, this part is very difficult to do. Um, just be aware how it fits on the cap, uh, the, uh, the inner part of the cap uh, and so forth. It is a bit tricky, it took me a while to get right. So once I got two hours together I placed them on, on the inside unit. Um, it's not 100% clear where these go. There is little ridges on the door panel which uh, it does fit into but often or not they were popping out going on. It was really difficult to get them on straight. And then it was time to put on the other, the opposite side panel. Again, just be careful how you do it. It looks fairly simple, but it, there's not a lot of room for new maneuver on, on this. You have to get a spot on. And this point is where you can run into trouble if you haven't got it on right when you put it in the front. Also, which is um, a bit confusing, there's actually a gap um, at the bottom where it joins and I was trying for ages trying to get it right until I thought well I'm just going to have to fill it but later on there was another part going on that covers up the gap so it made sense in the end as you can decide where my finger is I had a little bit of gap at the bottom um, I decided that now was the time to put on the top of the cab so the back panel then painting in the Tamiya XF71 cockpit green and also the uh, same colour for the skirts at the back of the tractor unit with the same colour and while that was drying I decided to paint the um, the brackets uh, for the skirting and these are painted in Aquacolor 91 steel and once the paint was dry I added on the decals for the back there's only a couple of little decals going on here. So for the solution, for the setting solution, I use micro sole on this because it's a bit curved and the um, the speed limit uh, decals uh, goes into a dip. So I wanted the decals to go really soft. And now it's time to build up the skirts for the, the, the rear of the cab. And again, uh, no problems here. Just uh, those uh, clear indications where the little parts had to go. And it was the same for the roof as well. And now the decals are dry, it's time to put on the, the, the bracket. So the first two are, are the bottom ones that um, will rest on the pins of the main tractor unit. And before I put the skirts on, there's two thin little strips I have to put on the end. Um, Th that was painted in the contrast colour of the XF71. I would advise uh, to put these on after you, you put the skirt on uh, because it's just easier. And then finally it was uh, putting on the bottom part of, of the skirt. Now again, I wish I'd done this. I should have put, put them on at the, near the end of the belt. So I would recommend that because you may have to move them into position. I mine came off while I was trying to, to do other things as well, so I had to clean them up and re-cement them. So a little thin bit of beading glue, and uh, go on. Make sure again they're straight. If not, you, you'll find it quite a bit of a problem to get your cap to sit straight on the, the base unit if you don't. But they, they basically go flush with the cap. And the last to go in this section is the top cover. Um, tiny little bits of point of cement on the brackets and a little bit of running around the same. And it's an easy fit. Putting on these corner parts, um, these two parts that I'm putting on one for each side uh, covers up the, the gaps that were in the um, joining of the side panel and main unit. When the, the two larger pieces go together, it appears to be a step and this is for this part to, f to fit into. So don't worry if you see it earlier on the build like I did. And then on the front of the cab there's this little band here. Okay, um, I decided after putting all those little bits and pieces on, um, I'd chipped some of the paint while cleaning up, which is unusual for me. 
it's why I generally can paint before I put everything together. I was going, I'm very careful about doing that. But this time, I had a little bit of leakage of glue and a bit of chip. Yeah, yeah, you know, and it's generally not a problem, but you can just clean it up and repaint it. However, as I stated in an earlier video, I had run out of paint on the other one. I thought I had enough. So in the end, I decided to repaint the whole thing. And I, the main uh, covering is Aquacolor Fern Green 360. Uh, it's a really nice colour. I've used it many times for things like a, a Klingon Bird of Prey and so forth. So I know it comes up real, really well. So I only, didn't add much time wires on, onto the build. So I went to the bottom part of the grill and um, I'm just painting in the um, Gunmetal X10 for the um, the grill part. Now to fit the cap. There is two tiny little um, pins that you put in into the brackets just above the radiator grill. You put them in um, a little bit and then slide on the cab and then once that's in you have to heat up the uh, a piece of metal or whatever i use a stirring stick and slide it in and melt the top of it so that the pins don't come out in theory that works fine um, this process took me about two two and a half hours to do and um, the reason the problem was once I was heating up my metal stirrer, like that, to seal them off, there was a tiny, tiny gap, just big enough for the paint stirrer to go in. So I was very conscious of possibly melting another part of the model, which I didn't want to melt. But in the end, I did do it. However, one did pop off, which was bloody annoying. So what I did, instead of um, trying to Re put the, uh, redo the part that came off. I got a piece of soldering wire, pushed it through the two holes, and then I twisted them uh, like you would do a, a piece of wire to keep it straight uh, to join it. Now you you can either then use your soldering iron to melt it, but again you run the risk of melting the plastic if you do that. You would have to heat shield parts of it. So what I did was I just twisted it then put on a bit of super glue to hold the twist and then cut it off near the base. So now it's in I'm just giving it a twist to form a bond then a little bit of super glue on the twist and once that was dry I just cut off the tail end. Now I took this opportunity to paint the clear parts and um, these are mostly for the indicators and reflection panels. So they were all painted in orange, aquacolor orange number 30. And then it was onto the uh, wheel arches and steps. So the, um, the little parts that I painted previously just slotting into place. And then the arches just go on. Um, again, very easy, nice fit. I recommend keeping the cab open to do this part. Just got a little bit more room to manoeuvre. And same as with the wheel arches, uh, the skirts for along the, the tractor unit. So the little orange reflective parts are in. And again, the, the fit is really nice. Just in between the two mod guard. And there's little uh, pins just to hold it. I'm painting the bottom part of the grill um, top colour in the contrast colour of XF71. And when I was right, it's time to put in the number plate that I put the decals in for a, a while ago. So there's two little pins that just slot in. At the top of the window in the cab, there's a, a, a little bracket that goes on, which is for lights and um, an extra mirror. Um, and usually half what it's on clear plastic, half what's normal. So I'm just painting in the uh, contrast colour that I'm using, XF71 copy green. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, there's two little decals. I've just got to apply a name plate for the unit, the R620. And once the decals were on, I uh, 
it's time to place in the clay pot. So first for the side uh, lights and indicators, then all the small little lights. Just painted silver inside and the um, clear parts then go on. And here's the, the other side of the indicator going on. And once it was all dry, I've put on the covering for the bottom grill. Now uh, this kit comes with a chrome coloured uh, sticker thing for mirrors and lights for some of them, not all of them. Um, so I'm just placing them on all these are tiny little circles just going on to the clear parts. And once all the clear parts were on it was just a case of putting them all together. And finally for the section just bonding the two halves. And once the front radiator grill was um, dried it just a case of putting it on. Again they go on the, the two brackets from the engine block and they sit, well it went in very easily as you can see. I put on too much glue on this um, part so it was uh, a little bit of rubbing down and um, repainting. And then it was time to put on the bottom curling for the main cab. These just fit over most of what you've already put on. And lastly the top bracket with the holds the lights and mirror. Again there's little connection points just inside so just a minimum amount of glue needed and it just pushes in. Sorry I didn't get a better car camera angle for this one but I had to have it facing towards me. Well now that's on um, that, I'm going to bring this section to a close part four. Um, I th I think uh, the decals uh, I'll do an entirely part on its own. I'll be a small part but uh, I thought it would be better just to concentrate on them and all. And I've got to leave this to dry anyway now. So all that's left to go on now is the wing mirrors. But they won't go on until the decals are on. So at the end of this why don't you check out the other videos that I've done um, in this play playlist or all the rest of my channel. But for now thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.